I've always wanted to build an LED mask, and this Halloween season seemed like the perfect time to create my prototype. Here's a list of the components that I used in my build. I'll link to each of them in the description below. I started off with a simple prototype of the NeoPixel rainbow pattern. The first step in making my mask was to measure how big my face was. I took an old rag I had laying around and wrapped it around my face. I then outlined my jaw with a pen. As you can see here, that's the outline on the rag. I mapped this outline to the number of NeoPixels required to fill the space and cut the NeoPixels so that they would alternate every row. Mine came out to be 11 rows tall and about 15 pixels wide at its longest point. After taping the cut strips together in the correct pattern, I soldered the wires to the strips in a zigzag pattern, making sure that the alternating rails were flipped. In order to make sure it fit, I decided to tape it to my face and drape the particle board and battery over my shoulder. Next, I wanted to glue the LED strips onto some fabric so that I could wear it more comfortably and without the tape. I decided to use a hot glue gun, some black felt, and some Velcro strips that I had laying around. Next I wanted to add a button and a switch as inputs to the microcontroller. The button allows me to toggle between different pre-programmed patterns like the rainbow and heart patterns. Since the particle core is set up automatically to look for a Wi-Fi network by default, it blocks the program from running unless it can connect to a wireless network. I used the switch and some code to stop that, but the switch allows me to connect to Wi-Fi when I want. After that, the last thing to do is put all the components inside an enclosure. I took a small plastic enclosure, drilled some holes for the switch and button in the top, and used a Dremel to make openings for the micro USB slot and pin cables that hooked up to the LED strips. So without further ado, here's uh, the overall mask got the container showcasing the button and the switch with a wire that leads out into the mask, uh, the LED mask. I've also got it where the micro USB for the particle core micro USB to USB cable leads out and um, can plug into a battery, an external battery of some sort. And here are some of the pre-programmed functions that I have in mind. I added a Halloween mask, sort of like a jack-o'-lantern, the Sub-Zero mask. Winter, so it's like a tree and some falling snow. Um, I've got rain, because I'm in Seattle, a heart. A little samurai-ish kind of mask. We got high, by, um, and then it goes back to the original rainbow pattern. So, yeah, that's the jack o' lantern, Sub Zero, Winter, Rain, Heart, Samurai Mask, High, and By.